This is Andrew. This is Hirsch. This is Wynn. And I'm Zuggy. Over the last six months, we've been traveling to different SEC schools in attempts to catch a fish and experience all each university has to offer. So far, we've been to Ole Miss, Texas A&M, Mississippi State, Texas, Auburn, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, LSU, University of South Carolina, and University of Tennessee. This has been an insane adventure thus far. We have five schools left. Arkansas, Vanderbilt, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kentucky. So welcome to part two of Fishing the SEC. Welcome to episode number 12 of Fishing the SEC from Vanderbilt University. We're gonna be fishing, touring, exploring Nashville's downtown and all Vanderbilt has to offer. All glory to God, be positive, just fish. Good morning, gentlemen. How's it going, Hirsch? What's up, guys? You ready? I'm hyped up. Let's go, baby, Andrew. Ready to grind, I guess. <laughs> First stop, Bucky's. Really excited to get this going, though. So. You sound excited. Yeah, it's too early for this guy. <laughs> Four and a half hours to Vanderbilt University. I'm hyped. After four and a half hours of driving, we made it to Nashville, Tennessee, home of Vanderbilt University. Right here, we've got the Tennessee Titans Stadium above my shoulder. Super cool though, and this is the Cumberland River right here that runs right through town. We're here though, after a long drive, glad to make it. We got the boy Andrew, we got Hirsch. We're gonna be doing it all today. We're gonna be attempting to catch a fish, hopefully in this river, if not at a different spot. Touring Vanderbilt's campus, raiding it, going downtown Nashville, getting the whole nine at Vanderbilt University. Super sick, Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans. But now we have a mission and that's to catch a fish near Vanderbilt University. Now Nashville's a city, so there's not that many bodies of water besides the Cumberland River. So I really don't know what's gonna happen on this trip. We have to attempt to catch a fish at every single SEC school. And I really hope we check Vanderbilt off. If we don't check it off now, we're gonna check it off tomorrow. Got the rods in the car. We're gonna head down to the Cumberland River. See if we can pull out a small mouth, a rock bass, a large mouth, so even a small mouth. Please catch a fish first try. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm most likely gonna fumble, but. Have also, confidence. That's true, have to have confidence. Renewal Rain, main sponsor of the next five videos, Fish in the SEC. We're gonna check them out later on the tour, but let's catch a fish. I'm not extremely confident when it comes to catching fish. Are you confident? Uh, this one, I don't know. It's a river, so. It is It is a river, it's gonna to be tough. You know, I, I do like river fishing. Actually, I really don't, to be honest. But it's an adventure, fishing the SEC, man. It can't get any better than this. We've, we've been, the, this is our 12th school, and I'm just so grateful for this. But, you know, most schools have caught a fish. Texas was like an eight pounder, which is really cool. Let's see if we can check out Vanderbilt, it's gonna be exciting. And see if we can get my boy Hirsch on his first bass ever. That would be pretty, pretty cool. Hirsch, what do you think? I want my first bass. So we walked down there to the Cumberland River and I don't think I can get access right here. Right outside the stadium, which is the cool part, but I don't think access is accessible here. So we're actually gonna, we actually, uh, Hirsch actually paid $5 for the, uh, Parking, so shout out Hirsch. Didn't even get a line wet, but we have some connections within the city. We're gonna meet her later, her name's Emma, and she's given us some fishing spots. Could be productive today, so we're gonna go to a lake. We're gonna get back in the car and head to our next fishing spot. Hopefully catch a fish at Van Vanderbilt. We made it to spot number two. It's definitely like one of those local ponds that's beyond pressured. So I really don't know how it's gonna be, but we're gonna see. I got the wacky rig tied on. We're gonna see if there's some bass. There's a lot of people here. Starting off with the wacky rig, we're gonna see if there's bass by these trees. Catch a fish early right now. That would be 
excellent on a great cast to start it off this might be the, the most pressured spot in the in the land i don't know it most likely is because it's a public park we're going to see if there's any fish that want to bite the wacky rig today and if not we'll go to a different river and see if we can catch some fish there but another nashville spot with no results but we're not giving up on vanderbilt have to catch a fish see i fumble fish but not that hard hirsch over here my boy hirsch he is even a bigger fish fumbler than i am so okay buddy <laughs> hirsch why can't you just pick I a mean, spot I do, bro? Have, I do have the he do has the fish, fish fumbler merch we'll check fish it out but we're gonna go back to the Cumberland River and try to find a spot where we can actually fish because apparently there's a lot of fish there. So. I think Hirsch looks like Doc Ock from uh, Spider-Man. I think that's a flex. You know? I think, I think uh, they're going on me. I think yeah, they're going on me. I agree. I'm bouncing between fishing spots, but we're at back at the Cumberland River. The Titan Stadium's right there. So we're on the other side of the river. That park was an L. So we're gonna try to pick off a catfish or a bass, probably on a Ned Rig I think it was fishing or a area. worm. <laughs> on a Ned Rig or a worm at the Cumberland River. I knew Nashville was gonna be the hardest coming in, and this obviously is coming into play because you look on fish brain and there's literally one spot where people catch fish and it's kind of just bluegill. So but the Cumberland River is obviously here and it's a big stretch. So we can find spot and find an access, but fishing near the, the Titan Stadium is cool regardless, but we're not gonna give up till we catch a fish. We're catching a fish in this video. We're also gonna try to, I heard Post Malone, Morgan Wallen, and uh, Luke Bryan are gonna be downtown Nashville tonight. Tonight? So hopefully, yeah, yeah, tonight. What? Yeah, it's gonna be crazy, so. Um, and uh, we're gonna potentially see him tonight, which will be really cool. Um, and uh, right here, she liked them, right? I love Morgan Wallen. Yeah, dude. It's, it's, going to it's gonna be good. Um, so I'm gonna tie on a Ned Rig and man, I hope we catch him. So after three hours, Zug unsuccessfully fished in Nashville. I mean, what do you expect from a freaking city? River did not produce, not giving up yet. We're gonna go get some lunch at this place called Puckets downtown. Probably eat some good barbecue, some good wings. We'll see, get rejuvenized to go try some more fishing spots before we tour Vanderbilt's campus. Andrew's already, already done. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired too. We're tired, but we're gonna get some food, get rejuvenated, catch some bass. It's a Puckett's restaurant. It's like a barbecue place. Pretty cool downtown Nashville. Looks like a really great menu. We're gonna get some cold pork, brisket, green beans, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. Should be fire. I asked for a grilled chicken sandwich, but they gave me pride. That's enough. Yeah, I so, agree. So, I mean, pride was still good. So I would really like 6.5 out of 10. Okay. 6.5 out of 10. I like that. Mine was absolutely excellent. Full pork, brisket, sweet potato. Gotta give it a solid 8.7 out of 10. Phenomenal place, buckets. Now we have a mission to catch a fish. We're gonna go back to the Cumberland River. Some locals gave us a lock spot that we're gonna try and hopefully catch a fish on the Ned Rig. Restaurant was really good, buckets. We're at the Cumberland River again. Man, I really hope we catch fish today. Just casting net rigs, crankbaits, no action. I had like two small bites, it was probably some bluegill. Really no action whatsoever. It's been really tough. I knew, I honestly knew this would probably be one of the toughest schools to catch a fish at. We're gonna cast for the remainder until four o'clock till we have to check into the hotel. So Andrew, what do you think? An arbor football or the fishing? They're both equally bad, so. I think we've been here for a while and uh, we've had no progress. Brian tells me to have patience, but sometimes I lose my patience. The shoulder's back at it, so I mean, it's only so much more we can, there's only so much you can do here. I think, I think you should try live bait, Ryan, but. Let's go. I prayed over this. 
Come on. Oh come my on. gosh, it's a come big on. small mouth. Come on. It's come a big on. small come mouth. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh my gosh, come please on. land this fish. Come on. Alright, how do we land this boys? How are we landing this? Should I just flip it? Flip or die? Flip or die? It's a big small mouth, guys. Yes! We caught it. I don't care if we can get it up. We caught a fish at Vanderbilt. Yes, thank you, Ward! Oh my gosh, you guys don't know how excited I am. Oh my gosh. It's there. Ready? Should we flip or die? Flip or die? Oh my gosh. Flip or die? Flip or die! Flip or die. Flip. Oh! Zog! Coming in clutch! Guys, that's my PB smallmouth. This is my personal best smallmouth bass. Oh my gosh. Lord, thank you, God. Thank, thank you. you, Lord. I, I Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh. Guys. Oh my gosh. Smallmouth bass. Look frick. at the belly on that thing, guys. Man, guys, this is actually the most massive blessing ever. Like, I was praying over this. I was like, Lord, please... Please just allow me to get a fish today. This is my personal best smallmouth. Um, it's it's up there with the personal best. Look at the belly on that thing, though, guys. It is fat. It is fat. Look at that thing. I'm getting all the it's angles here. It might be pregnant. This is a smallmouth bass, oh Cumberland gosh. River, uh, in Nashville, Tennessee. Guys, we've been grinding out here, throwing the Ned rig, throwing the crankbait. This is a massive blessing. Oh my gosh. We checked oh. off Vandy, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're going to get the release on her. Nice and gentle. See you, buddy. Off she goes. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Guys, you do not know how awesome that is. Praise God for that. Man, that would not be possible without him. So, so cool. Big smallmouth bass. First smallmouth of the Fishing the SEC series. So sick. We caught it. Let's go tour Vanderbilt. Boom, baby. We did it, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, you don't understand how hard we've worked today for that one fish. It's actually been, it's been a grind and a half. Sure, it has. Two, three spots. We got here at like 1130. We started fishing. It's like close to 430 now. Oh my gosh. We, we, we were going to even result to live bait, but a big right. small mouth to get it going. We're gonna head back in the car and meet Emma at Vanderbilt University. Thank you, Yahweh. Let's go, baby. Let's get them. This series has been a huge blessing and I'm more than grateful to be able to make this series, man. Renewal Rain. Renewal Rain is a mineral water, kind of like a seltzer water. This and what I love about this brand is that it's a Christian brand with a mission to spread God's kingdom. And that's why I back this brand. I have a link down in the description if you guys want to try it yourself. But what I love about this water, this flavor is called Psalm Squeeze. It's a lemon lime flavor. Really, really good. What I love is they have Ephesians 4, 22 through 24 on the back which is just such an uh, awesome verse. I'll read that verse to you. It says, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. And that's the main mission of Renewal Rain is to not only allow you to be more hydrated, but renew your soul as well and help spread the gospel. So I want to crack open a renewal rain right now and me and the boys are going to be having them uh during the hirsch here you go um we're going to be having them I during the tour the lemon. of fishing the sec this is a non-alcoholic beverage it's mineral water it's literally water um but sparkling so cheers to catching a fish at vanderbilt yes sir cheers cheers boys praise god for that fish praise god for this trip and this brand you guys want to go check it out and support a really amazing company Check it out at RenewalRain.com or click the link in the description. Use code ZUGGY15 for 15% off your entire order at RenewalRain.com. But this is an awesome brand. Absolutely love it. The Psalm Squeeze flavor and more flavors in the future. Oh, We're going to get to Vanderbilt. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We're going to get to Vanderbilt, tour the campus. It's going to be a great night. Let's go. After a hard day watching this kid fumble, <laughs> needs some Renewal Rain to cool That's off. Bad. Down, boys. Anchor down. <laughs> Anchor down. We're here. I like this. It's a good piece. Tough, yeah. tough, right? 
Good what do, piece. What do you think about the gold colors, Ryan? You know, I like it or not? I like honestly, gold? I like it. I really do. Whoa. I think it's solid. We made it to Vanderbilt's campus. We caught a nice fish, which was super good after a long day. We got Emma here. How's it going? Hi, good. And she's going to be giving us a tour of some of the main highlights of Vanderbilt. And uh, we're going to be rocking, wa rocking and walking around to uh, see Vanderbilt's campus. But already looking good. So Emma, lead the way. Okay. This is a dorm. This is a dorm. <laughs> a really fancy. That's a dorm. Oh my god. Dude, this is so nice. Yeah. Hogwarts. Like, that doesn't look like Hogwarts. That is true. Looks like a freaking church in Italy. Is there any way to get up there? <laughs> By the way, guys, got renewal rain right here. We're going to be drinking it while we are pulling the campus. Renewal rain. Go check it out. Link down below. Over here, they have like sorority houses. I think on this side it's only sorority houses and then on the other side Let me see that. it's all frat houses. Okay. Gotcha. And then one right there too. That one looks kind of like a castle. Yeah. Okay, I could see it. I could see it. Like see it. Uh -huh. yeah. Dude, I'm vibing with the okay. infrastructure yeah, here. That, that is good. The sorority things are houses are on campus. That's very rare. We rarely see that. Dude, I'm actually vibing with this school. I don't know about you, Ryan. I really like it. I'm actually enjoying it. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Unlike some other schools we've been to, but exactly. which won't be named. We got our boy Hirsch. He's long gone. He, he abandoned us. He's just like it. another friend of us oh. named Wynn that he uh, left us. I'm not shocked. This is beautiful green space we got, guys. Oh, wow. This oh, is nice. gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at this campus. Wow. Vanderbilt underrated campus question mark? I'm a sucker for green space. Oh, that's dining hall right there. This is legit. It looks like it's like a dining hall style, like buffet style. Over there. Oh, so the dining hall is in yeah, here? Yeah. One so the dining, dining hall is in here? This is it. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is tough. This is tough, Ryan. I mean, it looks nice. It looks it kind of cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Ryan. Literally shut the door on my face. Dude, look at this. Look at this green space. Massive. Like Tennessee, Georgia. Yeah, this better than stay. This better than like half the SEC school so far. Was very nice though. Very open, I'd say. This just seems more closed in. Very nice. Not gonna lie. I like it so far. I like all the uh, the greenery and the shrubs. Very uh, the shrubs. Aesthetically pleasing. No, I, I, I agree. I agree with that yeah. statement. Mm -hmm. Well, this is uh, I did not expect this to turn out this way. <laughs> there was like some palm trees. It's so UF. It's so UF. So I knew UF. it was like I've walked here before, and it was. They look the same as you had. This is a pretty campus, in my opinion. That's how you know it's a good school. You don't even need good weather for it to be good. Can you imagine how beautiful it would be if it was a sunny day? Oh my gosh, yeah. And the thing I love about Vandy is that they're upgrading. As you can see, they're they're making everything more modern. And we'll see it later in the engineering building that they have here. Super nice. Um, and I think that's something that gives the campus an upside over some other schools. Vanderbilt's obviously known for its baseball. It's one of the best baseball teams ever. And we'll look at that field later. That field is extremely nice. So guys, I think we're going to the biological science building. So this is the molecular genetic side. I think I read this. Extremely nice. All the prehistoric marine animals. Dude, this is really nice. This is really cool. So uh, explain. Explain to the viewers. I don't know what this is, but you know, this is the biology. This is the building. science and engineering library inside Just here. Just the library? Yeah, science and engineering. Just for those two majors? Wow. But they yeah. have classes. Okay. It's a very academic school, I forgot. Very academic. Comment down below your favorite SEC football team. We go to Auburn, but Auburn... It's not the best right now, but it's okay. We'll get over that hump, I hope. And I'm a major Auburn basketball fan. Yeah. White House. It, it does. It's kind of the same distance, you know. Same <laughs> yeah. big lawn in front. All right, business major's talking, so I'll get off the camera. Off. This is actually gorgeous. It's, it's cool green space. When he sees a green space he likes, he automatically thinks the school is number one. <laughs> what do you have to say to that, Ryan? Guys, it also is very hot today, and we are, we are sweating. And if you want to hydrate yourself while wherever you are, whether you're fishing, doing whatever, Renewal Rain's awesome, keeps you hydrated. It's also extremely healthy. It's water, flavored water, zero calories, zero fats, 10 grams of sodium, zero carbohydrates, no protein. 10 grams of calcium, very healthy mineral water right here to get you some good, uh, get that, get that good hydration in. Let's keep going. A really nice campus. I really am loving the, um, green space. I'm loving the way it's laid out. The infrastructure is a little on the older side, but I think it, it makes it look nice because it is a historic school. Agreed. Um, yeah, the architecture is really nice. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's turning out to be a great tour so far. This is the anchor that is down, guys, as they say, anchor down. Good stuff, right, Andrew? 
This campus is really nice, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, wasn't thinking too highly of it going in, but seeing it, it's, it's definitely gonna be on the upper half of the list. Definitely nicer than our last Mississippi State, in my opinion. I really don't know right now, but maybe sitting around five, six spot, give or take out of 12. Five, six. So we'll see, we'll see. I think it's gonna exceed South Carolina exceed LSU. So it might be sitting around fourth or so. Exceed I don't know. LSU. I think so. But oh, obviously you have to sleep on it and then you make I do have to sleep on it. Yes, because I Ryan can't. Ryan gets his high and then he comes I can't jump to conclusions. This is actually the guy who founded Vanderbilt. Founder of this university. He's a big steel guy. Big steel kind big of guy. Big steel kind of guy. He actually never visited Vanderbilt. Correct really? Me if I'm wrong, but yeah, he just, he had a large amount of money and he just said, screw it, let's go to school in Nashville. And this is how we ended up with Vanderbilt. There she is. And it's still continuing to be built or rebuilt. I thought this, this campus was really nice. I was going into it thinking not too highly of it, but I think it's going to sit around somewhere between the five and seven range, you know, give or take here and there. Really nice campus, great green space. I love the infrastructure, the architecture. I thought it was I thought it was pretty solid. But right now we're gonna check out some of the sports stadiums. Baseball, Vandy's one of the probably the best baseball school. We're here at the Memorial Coliseum, which is Vanderbilt's basketball stadium. And a unique thing about the stadium is it looks kind of weird. Seats and the court are like very far apart. Um, I don't know if you've watched Vandy basketball games, but the court is really weird. Right here alongside the basketball court is the football stadium over here. And yeah, this is the Vandy Athletics Department, which comes. Kind of, we'll go check it out. Approaching the Vanderbilt Baseball Stadium. This is a very historic spot because the Vandy Boys are some of the best baseball team in all of college sports. And it's just an unreal, some of the greatest MLB players have come from this school. Alrighty, I think this is a high school showcase, but this is the Vanderbilt field. Super cool, look at this. Wow. Pretty, pretty cool. We made it to downtown Nashville. We're gonna get some really cool shots of the what the city looks like, the country music aspect. We're gonna eat some good food, have a good time. I don't personally drink, I don't go to bars and stuff like that. That's not my crowd, you know, just it's not me. But we're gonna look at some cool historic stuff. We got the Predator Stadium above my head, the Nashville hockey team. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be fun. Let's eat some good food and have a great time. We got we're in Broadway here, downtown Nashville. wasn't my favorite restaurant ever for sure I'd probably give it like a 4.9 out of 10 definitely way too expensive for the amount of food I got and the food wasn't insane it was Blake Shelton's bar by the way it was so hard to hear me but we're just walking around now gonna head to the hotel and call it a day after a long day of fishing touring and eating boys we made it we're like 30 minutes out of Nashville this guy's exhausted <laughs> Ryan behind the camera is so tired. I'm so I tired. Know. I mean, Ryan has a sleep problem. We were about to get locked out of the hotel, but Hirsch freaking called in time. And we owe this day to him. Who called in time? But I find that that's what he intends. That's what he intends. Intend I was trying to insinuate it. So thank <laughs> you, Hirsch. I guess. Uh, give him a call. I no, called. Ryan called, but I didn't let him get what we're saying here. Right. No, it was all you. It was all you. <laughs> I'll be honest. It was, it was all Ryan. This place is nice. It was like 80 bucks for the night. That's insane. It's a resort, bro. This is actually it's so cool. sick. Bro, oh what? My God. This is a legit resort. That's insane, dude. What? This is a legit apartment. <laughs> 
Yo, what? That is crazy. What? That's insane. Dude, this, this should be the hotel. This should be it. I know. This shouldn't be all this extra crap. That's insane. Oh, wow. I'm liking this, boys. All right, that was a long day, and the fishing was awesome. We caught a big smallmouth. The campus was awesome, and going downtown was really cool. Overall, we had a fantastic day. We're super tired, and we're gonna we're gonna get some sleep. But we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is day two in Nashville, Tennessee. Vanderbilt, baby. It was a day yesterday. Grinded out on the water, caught a smallmouth. Tour the campus, it was really nice. In day two, gonna start off the day by getting some breakfast, going back to the Vanderbilt campus and checking out some more stuff. And honestly, just see where the day takes us from there. I just gotta give a, give a shout out to Stay Apartments. One of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed at in my entire life. It's got two massive beds, TV. Look at the room over here. It, it's, got a, it's got the bathroom, but Andrew's in there. And then look at this, a full living room, full kitchen, like, actually insane and it was only 80 bucks a night we're waking up getting ready it's time to get going to head into day two at vanderbilt i got the bowl i'm actually really excited to try this it looks really good guys I got the three, three egg breakfast with hash browns and toast. I got the salmon and avocado and egg bowl. That bowl is really insane. good. I'm excited. It's really good. This is one of the best breakfast places I've ever had. Let's go to Vanderbilt campus. This is actually a beautiful campus we got here, boys, right? Really nice. No, we're just making our last little go around before we head back to Auburn. We're gonna give a full breakdown in just a little bit, but we're getting inside some of these buildings, so we're gonna try to. It literally looks like Hogwarts. So. so you can see, look at this. Look how sick this looks. Insane. This has been an amazing time at Vanderbilt. We had a crazy adventure. I honestly didn't think we were gonna catch any fish. You know, after four hours of grinding, the Lord blessed us with a huge smallmouth, which is super cool on the Cumberland River. So we checked off catching a fish at Vanderbilt. The campus was awesome. I thought it was going in here. I didn't think too highly of it. I didn't know what to expect, but it really blew me away. I love the architecture. I love the feel of the campus. I, I, I really have nothing bad to say about Vanderbilt. And Nashville downtown, one of the most historic country music places in the United States. And it was really cool to get to see all those different things. The Blake Shelton bar wasn't my favorite food. I'd have to rate Vanderbilt's campus I'll give it a 7.1 out of 10. I thought it was solid and it's going to be number five on my list right now. Right after LSU, right above South Carolina. I'll have it up on the screen right here. But I got to give it a 7.1. I thought it was solid. Hirsch, what do you think? I would give it about 6.8 out of 10. I like the architecture. I like some of the class buildings, but the engineering was only one building. That was, right. And I'm, a, I'm an engineer, so I look at engineering a lot. Yeah. Uh, Vanderbilt is known for uh, medical stuff, so I know Andrew would love that. Overall, I would say 6.8 out of 10. I would give Vanderbilt an 8 out of 10. I really like the architecture here. I love that it's very medical focused, so it's like my major. I love the location of it. It's not too close to downtown, but it's 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 almost like its own thing. There's a lot of castles. It looks like we're in Harry Potter. And yeah, Hogwarts. that's true. And that is Vanderbilt University episode number 12. Huge shout out to Renewal Rain for partnering with me in fishing the SEC. If you guys want an awesome water that helps you stay hydrated, it's healthy, it's good, it tastes great, check out the Psalm Squeeze flavor at RenewalRain.com. It's really good, really right good. guys? Really yeah, good. it is, 100%. But we're gonna be drinking it on fishing the SEC while we're fishing and touring and more. Check it out, link down in the description. Code Zuggy15 for 15% off. But it was an awesome time, we had a great time, and we will see you in next episode of Fishing the SEC at University of Oklahoma. Oh, I can't believe we're going there, but 12 hour drive. We're actually gonna be hitting Oklahoma and Arkansas in the same trip. So we're super excited for that. So make sure to subscribe for more. See you on the next episode. All glory to God, be positive, just fish.